Right, so what we're doing today is looking at sampling and uh, the question you've got is why bother sampling? And I suppose the main reason is, is that statisticians want to um, find out something about a population and generally it's too difficult to count everyone or everything in a population so statisticians randomly choose a few individuals and um, here's a picture, an example of it, where they've chosen three out of a pile of different coloured objects uh, and, and part of the reason they say it is they, 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 they do a, take a sample in order to say something true is about the population. This sample is so small we can't say very much that is true but at least we can say hey the blue and red marbles exist within that population but it would be a bit hard to say what proportions they are because the sample is so small. Um, so something taken out of a population uh, when we sample from a population it's called a sample um, and the larger the more accurate it is and the more confident we can be about the information inside that large sample so let's try an experiment here I've got a, a you know, if you can pretend that's a blue sheet of paper or blue picture on the right hand side and underneath that there are 100 marbles so have a quick look you can see them there didn't really have time to um, uh, say much about uh, the colouring. So what we want to do is try an experiment and take some samples. So let's start by taking a sample of five and see what happens. And these are randomly selected from the sample. And uh, you can see there that there are three blue and four purple. Now if that's 5 out of 100 so we multiply that by 20 and that means we have 40 purple and 60 blue marbles so um, but it is a small sample okay so this time we're going to try 10 a sample of 10 we'll repeat this with a sample of 10 we've put the other ones back and you can see the blues coming out again and there look there's some new colors so what you have here is um, clearly uh, a better representation of what's in the sample at least in terms of knowing that there are more colors than uh, you saw in the first example so in this you've got three blue two red two purple a gray a yellow and an orange now what that translates to is that if we multiplied that by 10 uh, we can infer the population that they're 10 orange 10 yellow 10 gray 20 red 20 purple and 30 blue but Let's just one more time try uh, an even larger sample and this time uh, let's repeat it with 20. And uh, they're coming out a little bit faster now and uh, you've got a whole series uh, coming out and sorting themselves out into colours. And what we've got is 4 blue, 4 grey, 6 red, 2 purple, 2 yellow a black and an orange and what this means in terms of our population if we can infer it is that there are 30 red, 20 blue, 20 grey, 10 purple, 10 yellow, 5 orange and 5 black marbles. Now that's probably more accurate let's just have a look at the um, our, our results actual compared to the actual population so when you have a look here you'll see that um, we've got the samples listed down the time 5, 10 and 20 and the results that we came up for each colour uh, and let's just see what that's the actual population and um, if we just shift that around a little bit it looks like that if we sort it all out and um, do the comparison there you can see in the table now you can't say that the the sample of, of 20 is much more accurate but it, it seems to be a little bit more accurate um, even though some of the numbers are a little bit wrong so the red's wrong when you have a look there the grey is wrong as well but uh, nonetheless the final sample actually has one of every colour and even when the numbers are wrong they're tending to be a little bit closer to the actual number so that is a more reliable sample and uh, so if we took an even bigger sample it would become more likely to become more reliable still a chance it would be completely wrong but the chances of it being wrong get smaller and this is why we take samples in, in our statistics so that we can get a much better understanding of, of what a population looks like